Hi friends, welcome to the video tutorial on crime scene. So in this video, we are going to see, uh, see about crime scene and some crime scene personals and the crime scene protocol. So what is a crime scene? Crime scene is any physical location in which a crime has occurred or is suspected of having occurred. There are two types of crime scenes primary crime scene and secondary crime scene primary crime scene is the original location of a crime or accident which is happened and the secondary crime scene is an alternate location where additional evidence may be found so who is a suspect the person thought to be capable of committing a crime is known as a suspect So who is known as an accomplice? The person associated with someone suspected of committing a crime is known as accomplice. Next is different types of evidence. First uh, category of evidence is testimonial. This includes oral or written statements given to police as well as as court by people who witnessed an event. Second type of evidence is physical evidence which refers to any material items that would be present at the crime scene on the victims or found in a suspect's possession. The third type of evidence is the trace evidence which refers to physical evidence that is found in small but measurable amounts such as strands of hair, fibers or skin cells. So now we are moving on to use of evidence. Evidence may prove that a crime has been committed. It helps to establish key elements of a crime. It links a suspect with a crime scene or a victim. Can be used to establish the identity of a victim or suspect. And the evidence give detectives a lead to work with the case. Next we are moving on to some personals related to crime scene. The first personal related to crime scene is the police officers who is the first to arrive at the crime scene. These are the uh, responsible for securing the scene so no evidence is destroyed and detaining persons of interest in the crime. Second. The Crime Scene Investigation Unit, which is also known as CSI Unit. This unit documents the crime scene in detail and collects any physical evidence from the scene. The third personnel is the District Attorney, who helps to determine if any search warrants are required to proceed and obtains those warrants from a judge. Another one personal is the medical examiner who, who can determine a preliminary cause of death in the crime scene. And next uh, category of personnel is the specialist who is a forensic entomologist, anthropologist or psychologist who may be called if the evidence requires expert analysis. And other category is the detectives who interviews witnesses and consult with the CSI unit. They investigate the crime by following leads provided by witnesses and physical evidence. Next is the crime scene protocol. Step 1 is the interview process which interviews the first officer at the scene or the victim to determine what allegedly happened and what crime took place and how was the crime committed etc. It may not be factual information but will give a place to start.
step 2 is examine this identifies the possible evidence point or entry and point of exit this outlines the general layout of the crime scene Step 3 is document which creates pictorial record of the scene to demonstrate the layout of the crime scene using a rough sketch. This identifies exact position of the deceased victim or other evidence. Step 4 is the process which process crime scene for evidence for both physical and testimonial evidence for further analysis. So thank you for watching this video. Please